Today I'm going to answer a question about death. Because one of the most difficult videos for me to make in the last month was the afterlife, talking about death and how difficult it is to face. And so I feel like it's another sort of like the obstacle is the way kind of thing. Rip off the bandage if I can talk about something that makes me uncomfortable more than, you know, I'll be able to handle the next difficult topic. Today's question is, how does our view of death change as we age? Well, I don't know how other people's view of death changes as they age. I think it's very subjective. I meet some people who are very at peace with the idea of death, or at least on the surface they are. If they actually get confronted with it, maybe they act differently in ways that I can't see. Or maybe they're in denial, I don't know. But I think that there are people who can handle talking about death, and then there are some people who just out of out of respect of their sensitivity, um, I'm not gonna talk about death around them very much. But I can kind of I can kind of be either way a lot of the time. Um, there are some times when I I really force myself to be exposed to a lot of things about death and dying. I read the two books on death and dying and on grief and grieving, which are both fantastic books um, if you're if you're emotionally up for them. They're not written in any sort of exploitative way that's meant to make you feel bad or scared or anything. I actually walked away from both of them with some pretty uh, weirdly comforting revelations. You know, but then there are times when, yeah, it freaks me right out. Uh, I Sometimes you have a big realization that, like, I am going to die. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, like I can always know that in the abstract, but then sometimes it's just, you get a real palpable sense of it. Like I am literally going to follow the same path as everybody who has died before me. Like it's not, it's not a maybe kind of sort of thing. It is a definite. So I can't say how we all, uh, view death as we get older. But I can tell you how I have changed my view about it. Hmm. I mean, it obviously scared me a lot as a little kid. It's a weird idea to wrap your mind around. Or rather, I mean, when you're a kid, you just kind of don't understand. You just really don't get it. Pete Davidson had a really funny bit talking about his dad dying. And when he was a kid, he was like, he's like, you know, when you're a kid, you just don't really understand that stuff. He's like, I was seven years old and my people, they're like, Hey, your dad's dead. Also, we got you a PS2. Okay, cool. Sounds right on. He's like, if that happened now, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. But as a kid, you know, I couldn't really had no means of really internalizing it. Yeah. You just don't really understand that. Like when somebody's gone, they are really gone. I become more mature to it, I guess. Um, I did, and I didn't have a really severe family, close family loss until I was 18 years old when my grandma died. And I mean, it messed me up, obviously, obviously, at that age, you know, this thing that's always been there for you. Not this thing, but you get what I mean. This aspect of my life that has always been there is never going to be there ever again, and it starts today. Get used to it today, my friend. So hard to wrap your mind around. And then my grandpa died not too long after that. And those are probably the closest people to me who have died. I've kept most of the really close people to me. You know, other family members that like maybe should have been in the picture, like that died. Um, they died when I was too young to even comprehend what was going on. Similar to what Pete Davidson was said, but I was literally an infant. I think there's a... Um, there's just more of a desire to confront it now that I'm older or I'm getting older and I'm realizing that I still have a very, very long way to go in both contemplating my death, just thinking about it and, um, you know, just not being so scared about it. But I have to also accept that, like, I might be scared of dying for my entire life, like right up until the very end. It might even get scarier for me in some ways as I get older. Especially as, you know, when you get older, friends just die more often. Family members die more often. And I haven't really experienced it that much yet. 
So I, I guess also just being aware of how ignorant I am to the experience of death. There's a great album that I can pretty much never listen to. I can maybe listen to a song here and there, but it's not enjoyable, exactly. It's not entertainment, called A Crow Looked at Me. And it's just a very raw, real account of um, a man's grieving process. And, um, man... It's like, it's crazy. I can listen to that, and it's so, I mean, it's well-written. I feel weird assigning any quality to it. But yeah, no, it's extremely well, vividly described what he's going through to the point where I feel like I'm going through it with him, and I know that it cannot even begin to compare to his actual experience. I'm unaware of how unaware I am of what that actual experience is that he's going through. Like a lot of things, I think I've just become more aware of how little I know with regards to death. It doesn't really make me sad, though, thinking about the fact that I'm going to die most of the time. Not even in a sense of, like, I want it to happen faster, just like... Yeah, in this, like, detached, d distant way, hopefully distant... I'm not really scared, or, or, I mean, I'm scared, but I'm not really sad about it. It's okay with me that I won't be here forever right now. Um, and I can't begin to dig into that why. <laughs> Man, this is a complicated one. I'm definitely going to have to answer more questions about death, but I won't do it. I won't do a whole month of just the same topic, you know, I feel like. I feel like this is a good one to leave a couple questions in between each time I'm going to answer a question about death. Um, so, next question is, what's my favorite flavor of Laffy Taffy? Anything but banana. 